Hi guys, this is Andre from Loop Masters, and in this quick tip video, I wanted to talk about um, ways in which we can take an old MIDI clip and turn it into something fresh and new and original. Um, I've seen this done with audio clips in the past where you can sort of stack them together using clip launch functions and legato mode in Ableton. You can select different sections of the audio and piece them together in a new way so you get something new. Um, but I haven't seen it done with MIDI and I wanted to try that out. And uh, so that's what this tutorial is about. I'm going to cover that now. So for this example, I'm using uh, a MIDI clip. Um, it's a piano chord riff. Um, it's based on the track um, called Make It Good by Shift Key. And uh, this is the riff here. So that's the MIDI. It's just running through a contact piano. Um, it's worth pointing out that the, uh, the difference between doing this sort of technique with audio against doing it in MIDI is that with audio, you're always going to hear some sound, whereas MIDI, you actually have to wait till you've gone past the start point of the MIDI data before you hear any sound. So with that in mind, it's um, you have to be a bit more careful about the way you split up the actual MIDI riff. For this technique to work, what I need to do is um, split the riff into sort of four sections that I can pick out. And to do this, I'll duplicate the loop four times and select different areas of the loop in each instance. So um, for the first loop, I'll select beats one and two of bar one. The second loop, I'll select beats three and four of bar one. Um, the third loop will be beats one and two of bar two and three and four of bar two. So that we've got four consecutive loops that make up the entire riff. Now I'm going to select all of the uh, four loops and make sure that Legato is turned on for all of them. Plus I'm also going to set the uh, follow action um, clip length for each one to two beats. So we've got a two bar pattern that we've split into four. So each section is two beats long. And then I'm going to select any as the launch function. This means it will play any of the loops within the stack. So if we uh, listen to that now, we get this. So what's happening there is that each of the loops are being randomly selected. Uh, we've already defined what each loop is actually going to play, but uh, because they're being played at random now, you are getting something new. Now I've just duplicated this across to this uh, section here as uh, one I've made earlier and added a beat. So what I can do now is set up another MIDI track and route the output of this piano um, into the input of the new MIDI track. And then we can re record some of this uh, randomness happening. We'll be able to then select some new loops from the recorded data. So there's our selection of recorded data and I can take this across now into the arrangement window. I've already recorded a few other bits. So we can select different um, 
portions of this data and just bounce it onto a new track. That's quite good, that one. We'll just uh, take that across and double it up. Now I can drag that back into the uh, session mode. Remember, when you drag loops back, you'll need to turn the loop function back on. And basically, we've created something new, which is in the same key, uh, from something old. So I hope that's been of use to you. Catch you next time.